So this is the next video in a series for the train project. Um, we completed the train body in the last video. We had three videos for that. The next one we're going to do is the stack. Uh, the stack is pretty simple. If you look at it, it, it's just a simple extrusion, and then you have a loft. And you know that this is a loft because it goes from a small shape to a large shape. And then here, you could do a loft or you could do a, um, an extrusion with a cut. And then these are obviously uh, extrusions that you remove stuff. So it's not a crazy amount of work. So we'll start off with a cylinder and all of that. If you look, this is the basic project, right? So we're gonna create, we're gonna go back into the train project, right? And you double click on the train. Make sure we're doing everything in the same one. And you're gonna press plus and create part studio. And we're gonna rename it. Make sure everything is named. And this is called the stack. Okay, stack. So the first thing is you have a cylinder that's 0.5 diameter, and then you extrude it up 0.25. So we will, we should be pros at this by now. Right, and so we put the circle there, and then we dimension it, and we set it's a diameter, again, the circle with the line through it means diameter. If it gives you R in a number, that's radius, you have to multiply that by two. So that's 0.5. And then we'll just simply extrude that up. Okay, and if you look, that distance is 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Okay. Now the next part of this is going from a smaller circle to a larger circle. That's a loft. So we need to offset a plane. We've got a plane here, and you click on that. And it tells you that this distance here is 1.5. But if you look at the 1.5, you've already extruded this little cylinder of 0.25. So the distance from here to here when you subtract is 1.25. So let's extract, uh, let's offset 1.25. Okay. Let's look. Didn't work right, and that's okay. Just like everything else, just delete it and start over. That's weird. So instead of doing it like that, we can do it from the, the plane. And in that case, we would do it 1.5. Okay. So then we will put a plane on, or put a sketch on there. We're going to look at that circle. But you see how that one didn't, I didn't actually highlight it. And that's okay. I'm going to press escape. And we'll just delete it. Make sure it's highlighted. And that circle is also 1.25. And so we'll finish that sketch and we'll loft it. So we're going to loft it from there to there. 
right? So I just click those two things. If it's not how you want it, like it doesn't show up like that, that's okay. Just, you know, delete and then loft it. Okay. And then we'll do a, you know, here's the problem for this one. It doesn't tell you this outside diameter. So you can't do a loft. So we'll do an extrusion. I don't know if that was the right part, so that's okay. We'll put a sketch on there just to make sure. And I've said it before, you know, if you, if there's ever a point where you're like, I'm not sure, that's okay. Start over. See how I just exit out and I didn't even check it. So I just double click. And I really should have done that because it was different. Even though it looks similar, it wasn't. So I'll do an extrusion. Okay, and that distance, if you subtract those two, is 0.25. Okay. And then this kind of comes in, it's 15 degrees. Okay. And so that's a chamfer. We're just going to click on that. Um, and it's a angle. So that's 15 degrees. Two, five. But it looks weird, right? And this will make it go the opposite, which is what we wanted. Okay. And now we're going to make those holes. So let's start off with the uh, smaller hole, thinner one. And that tells you the diameter, because circle with a line through it means diameter, uh, is 0.375. And we'll extrude that down. And we want to remove. So we want to cut that. And we'll look and it says it's 1.5 from the top. And then we'll do the bigger one. And again, make sure that you put that circle there. dimension that 0.875 and we'll go in 